So here's how this works too. Um, the launch, right, Dean, when it gets into that 30 range, the, the ball comes in in a burrowing fashion to the green. If it goes this way, like a balloon like yours comes in a lot, they stop merely from trajectory, okay? And it leaves a round crater and rolls out a little bit. Uh -huh. The burrow it goes in and digs a little hole into the green, pops out, and then spins back. It's like when you get to scoring clubs, which is what we're doing inside of 100 yards, right? You need, you need to be magical with your, with your system. And if half swings, I mean, you're very uh, accurate with the direction. And the clubs with this half swing lockdown left arm under is working nicely. Half swing, I'm not getting any benefit on the full swing. It's what, what are you telling me? No, you're getting unbenefit because you're miss hitting more and it's offline more. So when you go to the scoring clubs inside 100 yards, you got to be smart about what tool is best for you. Every player has a, a best wedge in their bag. And for you, it's in the pitching wedge to nine iron zone. You love your nine iron. You said already, I really do well with my nine iron. Now you know why. Why? Because the trajectory, the spin, you know, it has a little bit more smash factor for you, and it matches up your release style. And when you try to goose like a sand wedge to hit over a bunker at, you know, 60 yards, man, you got to go fast, and then all of a sudden you're falling backwards and all kinds of stuff. With this thing, all I've seen you do is move nicely through. Or, or yeah, that's that. That's what happens. Okay, so the trajectory, the landing trajectory, is what the tour players are doing. They're not hitting high floaters, and mostly they're hitting what they call flighted wedges, and those are the ones that are going to medium height, that 30 degree, 34 degree, like you just hit with a wedge. They're hitting like lob wedges like that, trapping them. And they go in and they hit and they, so they, skip. they skip, boom, boom, bang. 58 degree glide wedge, pinger. Left arm locked down, right? Yep. Okay, get it under there. Good. So there's a 2700 spin. Nice shot. Got a height on that. That's, that's the shot I want. Right yeah. There. That's Chileno Bay shot. So was that full chips as well? That was a full chip. What? There. That was a half chip. But. Okay, that's a pitch. Like chip shots, a lower flight. And then the, the chip is deter you know, kind of called like 20% carry, 80% roll. That would be a chip, where a pitch like you're doing is like 80 carry and 20 roll of a total. Okay. So, I don't, like a full chip, there's no such, a chip's a chip, it's just a little piece of a swing. A pitch is a fuller motion. Very consistent with your tracking. You mean my aim? Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. Really pretty good. Yeah. I'm impressed. So it's 34. Yeah. So you can see how valuable this is, right, of training like this? Yeah, well, I, mean, I really haven't done it. Enough. Right. And this is the the game changer, really. But when I, you can. I mean, it's really helpful. Your. That's a good one, huh? Yeah. I mean, I've actually talking about ace bandages in the Hogan, Ben Hogan thing, where he's got those ace bandages here for the full swing. What I'll do is I'll ace bandage that shaft on some people, right? Huh. So that's on there, and then you 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 know obviously you can't can't just kind of move it. As a player like yourself, who has a particular release, yours is fast, and it's fast with club head underarm, under hands. And so that will always slide a little more like that. You got it. So when you start to go, hey, I want to see how far my full swing goes, well, what does that mean to me? I, I don't know what that's going to mean. Is how I'm just going to go hard, I'm just going to go full. Well, for me, it's I'm not going the full mount back. Taking it half back. When we're doing the first sessions, yeah. and you're going like 34 yards, 32 yards, 38 yards, somewhere in there, 
So you jacked one up and went 42, four more yards for a blaster. Why not just take a, a, a U club or, you know, and do the half. Do the half. And, your, and your speed and angles will be much more consistent per shot. Hey everybody, what's happening? It's Gormanator here. I just want to let you know that I'm doing live Zoom lessons. Next best thing to an in-person lesson, a live Zoom. So you want to kick that slice to the curb, hop in, and let's get going. I've got my launch monitor and the tools I need. If you're at the office, work, wherever, we can get it done. Click the link down below, hit the page. It'll tell you all about the lesson and how it works. You'll be excited to get it done because I'll take care of you. See you guys on the next video.